Okay. Yar. What do you got for me? Oh, hey. Oh. I thought that was another badge. I went, I might grind <laughs> 10,000 souls for that. No, it's that key. Yeah. Okay, so Kirk Hammer. Ludwig's Holy Blade. Blade. There's the rifle spear. Okay. Stake driver. Stake driver. Yeah, the, I, I kind of figured it was a strength weapon. <laughs> Let's take a look. Favored by the retired hunter, Jura, who uh, I fought and won <laughs> fair and square. I, 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 I beat it. I beat it, though. I beat it, like, super good, you guys. But it is difficult to use and leaves its wielder wide open, but none of this should be should bother a mere powder keg. That's odd wording. Um. Uh... Yeah, but, I don't know, if you're fighting in a group called the Powder Kegs, my brain immediately thinks, you blow yourselves up all the time. Fair enough. So... Okay, but, uh, just to just to talk real quick about Ludwig's Holy Blade, it's the coolest. <laughs> okay. It's probably one of my favorite weapons in the entire game, and probably one of my favorite weapons in the entire Dark Souls series, to be honest. That's some high praise. It's just so cool. Uh, although it's kind of gotten a reputation as a noob weapon, because it kind of is. Well, yeah, but every Souls game has a noob weapon. Yeah. It's just really good. It's got lots of good horizontal. It's got lots of great vertical. It's just, it kind of fires on all cylinders, basically. Okay, but it looks like the scaling is shit. For the Ludwig Holy Blade? Yeah, it's at first. I mean, yeah. But you put I'm sure it gets better. Oh yeah, but you put a couple points into it or you put a couple of uh, upgrades into it and it shines. Plus you get to feel like guts, which is always cool. <laughs> this game is good for that. Yeah. And then again, I I always feel slightly odd in a Souls game when I'm not using a large weapon cuz I'm fighting these Mo massive monsters. Things are just way bigger than I could ever hope to be. And I'm just using like a rapier. <laughs> I always go, no, I need a weapon that's the appropriate size. So that's why I tend to gravitate towards like big spears and great swords and great axes, that kind of thing. Yeah, and I mean, it sounds like you just prefer strength weapons in general. Yeah. And I can totally get that. Although, the skill weapons in this game are super. <laughs> it's not just like random katanas uh, and rapiers. There, I think there's one katana. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. There's one katana, but okay. I can't tell if this is a graphical glitch or that, it's just like these guys are filled with pus. That looks like a graphical glitch because it's been happening literally every time I fight these guys. Oh, they may be full of pus then. I was just looking at the way weird way it streaked across the floor. Yeah, which is why I'm... That's what made me think, not sure. <laughs> that's a bug. Alright. Yeah, come on. Was this round four, I think? Uh, three and a half. Three. Considering the third round, I just got stomped. Oh, we're not, we're not, count, we're not counting that one. No, I'm counting this as a continuation of that. Fair enough. Come on, uh, defector anal. <laughs> yeah, bad plan. <laughs> yeah, regret. <laughs> But I hit him. You did hit him. Why do I have a feeling this is just going to turn into another Cleric Beast fight? I wasn't going to be the one to say it. I figured you'd give that a conclusion on your own. It's moving so fast. Yeah.
it's odd because this game is all about aggression, but this boss in particular, it you need this to boss be a bit more. does not work. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Defecator Anal! You got this. <laughs> Let me just stand Yay! back here. <laughs> hey, that was cool. I thought you'd interrupted it. I thought I did too. I got excited for half a second there. <laughs> And then reality came back. <laughs> Snap back to reality. Whoop, there goes gravity. God damn it. I was going to make that joke, but I was like, that's <laughs> dumb. I shouldn't make that. <laughs> I think this is my favorite boss music so far. It's solid. It's a good choice. Oh, nice. Oh nice. And now I'm going to get my shit pushed in. <laughs> Fine. Cool. Unlock right away! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Unlock. Flee. You just staring at my corpse? <laughs> Creeper. Just leans down and whispers, See you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there has to be a trick I'm missing. Um, honestly, at this point, man, you're just under leveled. You just don't have the damage output. I want to try something crazy. All right. <laughs> Providing music in case you decide to fast forward. Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, so threaded cane is becoming a slightly more viable weapon. That's kind of nice. <laughs> slightly I guess it I'm just annoyed by that weapon cuz it I honestly feel it's it feels like a betrayal <laughs> Yeah straight up it just if it had better damage numbers It's just so I, I, cool but yeah But on the other hand you are able to attack multiple targets at once Yes which is what I plan on trying to abuse here. That was the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna ring my bell. <laughs> ring my bell. This playthrough just becomes a fucking musical. So. There is one thing that I can say, um, charged R2s could be helpful to you. Well, I'm sure that would be more likely to trigger the stagger. Yes. But he's moving so fast, I'm trying to it's find hard that to nail it. and yeah. can't. Alright, let's see how this goes. This thing even looks like a Castlevania boss. <laughs> Maybe? Maybe? Oh boy. Get him, Defecator Anal! Not me! <laughs> no! Leave me alone! Okay, Rider Monkey has demonstrated he knows how to play the game. <laughs> you know how to play, now don't get too cocky. <laughs> Dark Beast Parl is your Daiko. Uh, I think I'm gonna call I'm I'm going to call this here. I will come back. Alright, fair enough. You will have a chance to take him on later on in the game. 
Well, if it's optional, I sincerely doubt they're just going to completely close this area off. Yes, exactly. So, let's see. That leaves... All right. Do you want to fight some witches? Do I have to? It's an optional area, but it does give you access to the thing that allows you to use those runes. The thing that allows me to use what? Those runes you keep finding. Eh, okay. Where do I go? All right. Uh, go to the cathedral ward. Oh, well, you got to do this anyway. It's not exactly optional. You basically got to go to where the uh, guy with the sack killed you before taking you to Yarhar Ghoul. Okay. And you've got to make your way from there up into the cathedral ward, basically. Okay. I think I understand. <laughs> oh, I should probably check on what's her nuts too. The one that I had to uh, coerce into thinking I was part of the healing church. You're still dressed in the clothes. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you are a part of the healing church now. That would be weird. But yeah, when transformed, it combines with its sheath to form a great sword. It's so cool. And I immediately understand why it's considered a new weapon. Yeah, because <laughs> it's a it's a straight sword. They become a great sword, and it's so cool. Just I'm just gonna sit here and just talk about how cool that weapon is for a minute. Okay, so we have bitchy old lady. Her. Uh, other corner. Uh, towards the front other of the- Other, other corner? Uh, opposite the bitchy old lady. Yeah, there we go. Oh, brave hunter. You're alive. Damn right. Thank you very much. I didn't just die like 50 times. <laughs> Is she talking to me telepathically? Because her mouth ain't moving. It's fine. Everyone in this game's a telepath. <laughs> I, can offer I could get behind that. Is my own lonely blood. If it would suffice. Uh-huh. Ah, uh -huh. eh, fuck it. Yes, of course. Oh, well, no. Locked out the true ending. That smells like bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, if you're going to lock out the true ending, I would honestly let you know. Like, I would not fuck you over on that yeah, one. Yeah, you would be like, stop it! <laughs> oh, wrong way. Gotta go deal with your old friend in the wheelchair again. Ah. Joy. Yep. Not if I throw myself in this pit! <laughs> yeah! Ah, damn work. Don't have to do it if I'm dead. Just die. <laughs> You're like, not have to, I don't have to do it if I'm dead, Ryder. Right yeah. Yeah, I know I'm people's petty, names. I'm petty, but I'm not quite that petty. <laughs> just, well, it's just the idea of... I just hear on my side, well, Squirrelbot, I don't have to do it if I'm dead. Your character dies. I'm like, okay, and it's your thunk on the other side. <laughs> right, 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 monkey. Um, <laughs> no, it'd be. It, I'd probably do the old audio gag of using a water bottle to make it sound like I cracked my own neck. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I heard a fantastic story uh, from Chris Ayers. Yeah. Uh, pretty famous voice actor, stage director, that kind of thing. He's telling a story about how he tried... He... Yeah, wasn't he Vegeta? Um, I don't think he was Vegeta, but he was, for anyone that knows... He wasn't DBZ. He was uh, Corono in Gantz. Okay. I could have sworn Chris Ayers was in DBZ. He might have been. At least one of the dubs of DBZ. He might have been, but not in that dub. Or that I'm aware of. So, he tells the story about how they tried to do the... The water bottle gag, or one of yeah. his director friends tried, and essentially they wanted it to be slow. Like they're like slowly crinkle it so it's like you hear each bone cracking. 
unfortunately, quite work like unfortunately, that. the lid was a little loose. So instead of a like cracking sound, they just went on stage and no sound came out. <laughs> just like a hiss, and that was all that happened. With style. Also, for anyone listening, if you do have an opportunity to go to a convention of any kind where Chris Ayers is in attendance, go because he's awesome. He's probably one of the coolest, like, celebrity, I guess you'd say, that I've had the pleasure of being or even remotely around. He's really cool. Okay, this is gonna drive me nuts. So I am. We are parking ourselves right here with uh, the horny wolf. No, he's gone. What's up? Oh, you didn't respond. That's kind of depressing. I'm looking up Chris Ayers. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Because I know <laughs> he was in something Dragon Ball. Yeah, that's fair. No, but I, I got to have a geek out moment with that guy at one point. It was pretty fantastic. Frieza! Huh? He plays Frieza. Oh, nice. Um... Uh, I don't remember which dub, but he plays Frieza. I actually had a great moment with that guy because um, I, I got to geek out in real life for the first time in my life because of that guy. Because I had seen Gantz and I loved that show just because I'm a fan of like fucked up anime. So we're sitting there listening to him give a speech. You know, he's talking about uh, stage fighting was the panel I was in. And he's talking as this normal guy just going over, here's what you do and here's what you do. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then all of a sudden he's telling a story about how some kid fucked up a stunt untrained just fucked up a stunt and like fucked up both his knees and he immediately he said so i looked at my kids that i had learning that was learning from me i went this is why you don't and he's his voice pitched up because he was angry yeah and immediately I'm like oh, it's Corono. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> so yeah but he also plays frieza in he's like the newest frieza oh nice so not in classic dvc oh, okay hey so Knock, knock, motherfuckers. So back to gameplay. Uh, <laughs> hey, fuck you. What a horrible night to have a curse. <laughs> I don't know what you're expecting to accomplish, but all right. I just wanted to see if I could, like, break the door down or have them freak out or something. Just you hear the sound of a death and they're saying, like, oh, wow, I'm kind of a monster, aren't I? Oh, it's one of you. It's a couple of you. And Rumple ah, Yarnum has. I like how we both latched on to two completely <laughs> different things. Oh god, dog! Accidental palindrome was accidental. <laughs> I wonder. Going for the backstab? Yes. Alright, go for it. Now, when he goes to charge up, do it again. There you go. Did not work. It's six one half dozen the other. But you notice how fast he gets? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you pulled that one off. Way to go. Frame perfect. <laughs> wow, those guys, those guys drop a lot of shit. Yeah, they're super tough. I'm gonna heal up now. Well, yeah, of course. Okay, so if you go to your left, oh, yeah, you should that was worth it. hit an elevator that will take you up, up, and away, basically. See you later, fuckers! <laughs> they just. Did you see that elevator go up? Nah, don't even worry about him, though. You know what? We were gonna go after him, but he was moving super fast, and I'm tired. We really have enough shit on our plate as it is. Come on, <laughs> I mean, I'm a werewolf, you're half a werewolf. <laughs> All right, back in the cathedral ward. Okay, so. I got thick blood. If you jump down, you'll find a lever. Oh, it's the giants. Um, No, it's the way directly out of the front door, I believe, of the church. Oh. But this basically well, is a way around that, yeah. Okay, so I jump down. Yeah. <laughs> you missed out on the perfect gag of, 
Why didn't you? Oh, why'd you do that? <laughs> I really should have, but whatever. Oh, hello, fellow. Wow. That was kind of garbage on that parry. He wasn't even trying to swing at that point. <laughs> nope, but I saw a tell. <laughs> Reflex-based parrying. Wasn't so much a reflex as I just saw him move his uh, weapon in a certain way and went, this'll work, and just did it. <laughs> he has a scythe. Yeah. I want a scythe. Um, oh, he just had to start walking. Before you go up there, the before you go up there and get wrecked, go ahead and open that gate real quick so you don't have to run down and go through again. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> I was just peeking my head up and it's like... You know, maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> All right, and so now you have access to the Cathedral Ward area, and you don't even have to pay 10,000 souls for a stupid item. Okay, so the stupid item gets us here. Uh, the stupid item gets you to a gate that's in front of these stairs here. Oh, okay. So you basically just found the back door, essentially. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We're just gonna <laughs> meander. We're gonna mosey over there. Alright, now we're gonna play it a little bit more fast and lose. Okay, so this is... Yeah. Okay. I know where I'm at now. Okay. Whoa! 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 Oh, God! <laughs> I was sitting there being all facetious and stuff, and then I got surprised by the pupper. We're playing fast <laughs> and loose. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, that was the gag I was going for, and then the dog became a thing. <laughs> okay, seriously, how are you able to do that? He's got a gun? Oh. Whoa! Okay! <laughs> Did not dodge in time. I love the knockback on the attack on the attacks in this game. Just because you don't get knocked back two or three, you get knocked back like twenty feet. And these guys, I remember, I can't stagger, so I'm just okay. So kind of moving forward. Fair enough. Ding. You're the guy with the scythe. Give me your scythe. <laughs> No, give me that. No, he be trying to touch my butt. Don't touch my butt. No, give me that. I want that, though. So if you go up to the top of these stairs and make a left, you go to an optional area. Wow, it's a balcony. Okay. I'll wait. <laughs> I'll wait for your malformed sarcasm to pass. What the hell is he holding? It's a stick. He's gonna hit you well, with it. Yeah, I gathered that. He's gonna hit you with it. Oh! That actually really hurts and is do What is going on? What status effect is this? Why am I go Huh? Is that frenzy? Oh yeah, he must be making you angry. When he hits you with his giant stick. Stop it! <laughs> Rage! <laughs> No, I'm just kind of standing here, and it's like, gang matter. No, I'm not. Yeah, I yeah. am. No, I'm not. <laughs> he hit me with the hangry I'm... stick. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the hangry stick. <laughs> okay, and I'm not going to lie. At some point, I'm probably going to let myself get frenzied just to see what the hell that is. Fair enough. Because I have no idea. But that point is not right now. <laughs> My hand in the right direction? Bloodshot eyeball. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is left. A day may come when we abandon all of our fellows and all sake of fellowship, but it is not this day. <laughs> you know what? Ba -da -ba -da. 
Fuck. You know, a lot of people are like, man, what? He wasn't a great choice for Aragorn. I'm like, shut the fuck up. That speech, though. <laughs> <laughs> you shut the fuck up. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Oh, I was hoping you were a side path. <laughs> All right. What bullshit am I looking at here? Um, let's just say it's just a let's just say it's wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. I'm really hoping for just wear ducks to <laughs> run out of the trees and try and kill me. Although killer rabbits is funny. That's true. God, I'm trying to imagine what the hell a Oh hi! I'm trying to imagine what the hell a duck would sound duck like. Duck season! Because like the crows when they come at you make this oh, God. horrible growling what sound. What the hell is up with you? Looks like they implanted metal in the dog's face. Did I just find like the Cenobite hunting grounds? <laughs> what is this? Doom? Oh, take that. Pretty decent game. Uh. <laughs> yeah, take that relatively awesome first-person shooter. <laughs> okay. What? You must have moved. You must have moved your controller so that you did a gesture. That being said, that was pretty awesome. Oh! Those dogs hurt. Yep. Well, they got metal all over them. Of course, they hurt. One thing in this game that you haven't bumped into yet, but it's when you get shot, when you're in the air, like you do a jumping attack or something, and you get shot, your character literally I just am, falls on their back and just lays there for a second. I am honestly surprised I haven't uh, seen that yeah. yet. Good lord! <laughs> it's just like, whoa, fire! Why is everything on fire? What is Did I walk into call it did I walk into Battlefield 1? What's going on here? What is what am I even doing with my life? I'm sitting here hunting monsters and shit. I really need to go back to community college. No, I will never go back to community <laughs> college. It was enough of a it was enough of a pain in the ass to get them to accept a monkey once. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Okay, I'm collecting shit I'll look at later. <laughs> Quit shooting my dick! <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. We're in the forest! Fuck you! <laughs> this is the woods. There ain't no help out in the woods. <laughs> oh my god. That movie, man... What a hard, what a hard left turn out of nowhere. <laughs> Did you re you didn't realize going in that it was a hillbilly horror film? Nope. Seriously? Nope. I had no that idea. That was not spoiled for you? You are so lucky. No, I really wasn't lucky because the person who set me up, I trusted them. And they're like, yeah, it's a camping movie. It's about four guys who go out in the wilderness and camp and some stuff happens and they have to, like, survive. I'm like, oh, cool. So, like, where's a, the lo Where's the line? So, like, a Call of the Wild kind of thing. Okay, gotcha. I'm on board. And then the movie just goes left. I'm like, oh, oh, no. What? Why? <laughs> what is happening? It sucks you die. I'm sorry. But I'm just staring at those things going, good God. <laughs> huh. You know what would make our dogs more dangerous? If we just slapped metal and shit on them. <laughs> Needs more metal. <laughs> Let's make a giant angry metal porcupine. What do you guys think? <laughs> I disapprove of your I disapprove of your methods, but I can't fault your logic. <laughs> <laughs> 